Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Explore the process of integrating WordPress with your existing GoDaddy website. This guide provides insights into the seamless fusion of these platforms allowing you to harness the flexibility of WordPress while leveraging GoDaddy's hosting and other services. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So here guys, in this video, we will need two specific things. We will need you to have already a website on GoDaddy, which is obviously by getting a domain name. So as you can see here, this is the dashboard I have on my website. This is the store name and this is the domain name as you can see as well in this website. So, as I said guys, once you feel like you're ready to go, then you should also have a WordPress website. So here I have it, I have it on my localhost, so let me just open it real quick. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can connect your uh, domain name with your WordPress website. So, the first thing is once you go here to your products, so let me, see, let me go to my products and try to buy anything through uh, like um, GoDaddy themselves. So let me just buy something. So I'm going to go to godaddy.com and here you will notice that there is websites and hostings and here you will find the WordPress hosting. So here it is completely up to you. Now I would simply click on WordPress hostings and here I will take like the one of their plans. So here, as you can see, manage WordPress basic, manage WordPress deluxe, or manage WordPress ultimate. So here, what you're going to get is one website, for example, for $13 per month, 10 gigabytes NVMe storage, which is SSD, uh, AI, uh, basically creation tool, uh, and metered bandwidth, free domain, free SSL certificates, a WordPress pre installed, weekly backups, web application firewall, and a lot of things going on. So depending on your needs, you will find the best need, like categories in here. Well, here you will simply have to click on see plans, get one of these plans and simply, as you can see, make sure to choose the best plan for you. So for me, myself, I would not need any kind of domain since I have it already. Make sure to choose one of these basic plans, then continue to cart and you will be ready to go. This is for those who doesn't have the domain and doesn't have anything yet. But for me, since I have a product already, so I have my website here, I can simply click here, manage. Or I can click on this website right below me, so here on the website and marketing. And I will find my website right here. So let's click on my website here, like through my domains, to show you everything in detail. So guys, in details exactly we need to be in the DNS management because here we need to apply uh, like the template applied is WordPress. We need to add a WordPress template. So simply after you add the WordPress template, which will be allowed to show you in here. So you can simply just get it like that, but it's WordPress basic. You simply have to get it for this amount of money. Then you should simply be able to connect it to your WordPress dashboard. So here normally you just have to connect into it. Um, here we go. I think this is the password. Uh, yep, here we go. Make sure that it is in the plugin section. So for me, I would simply go to plugins, go to add new. And here I will be able to add uh, a new plugin, which will be the GoDaddy plugin. Or I should simply just add the GoDaddy domain name into the settings. So here simply just search for GoDaddy. Here we go. And now simply just add GoDaddy plugin through here. Or you can add the domain name directly right through here. So like for example, as you can see, this WordPress address URL, simply just add the URL in here and your WordPress URL will be changed to the GoDaddy domain that you have bought. Now after that, why are we doing all of that exactly? Like what is the difference? Why don't we just use the GoDaddy page builder and save all of this time that we are actually wasting? So basically that is because the GoDaddy page builder is not necessarily that professional. So if I went here, let me just go. And here as you can see, if I clicked on edit websites, 
I will not have as efficient platform as efficient builder as it has or I have in my WordPress website. There is a total difference, a big and huge difference between the capabilities of the GoDaddy base builder and the WordPress website. They are totally different, totally like part far from each other's. So it could be harder for me to edit here than to edit on my WordPress website because WordPress allows you to add dozens of plugins, allows you to add like infinite amount of pages, blogs, articles. Uh, you can preview your website very easily. Uh, here you can customize it while you are looking at the whole page very clearly. What I don't like about like here is this is taking too many space of my website. Like I'm trying to look at my website, but this menu here is alone is taking too much. Look how the size of it. Like it's very big. Even the edges are big. This menu is taking too much. But look at my WordPress website here. Like I can see the whole page. I can cancel it. I can preview it in different modes. Like this is basically on mobile how it looks like. And this is how it looks like on my PC in the GoDaddy Builder. So you notice the difference. And also, the WordPress has the most powerful plugin that can help you drag and drop anything and edit the pages as you like, which is called Elementor. So these are all reasons that combining them together will give the WordPress so much, too many advantages than the normal page builder that the actual GoDaddy website has. So this is the differences and this is why people are actually interested in transferring and getting domain name first in GoDaddy because GoDaddy offers the best, like, the best domains with the best prices. You could like get a .com domain for only $2 maximum or even $1 per year and you just have to build that website using WordPress. This WordPress will 100% improve your website and how it works. So generally speaking guys, it is so useful as I said to use WordPress. Let me just show you a brief of the marketplace in here. Like look at the popular plugins. Uh, it can take some time. So these are all plugins that you could use and they have like literally as you can see here and the bottom 1.500k pages that you can go through. Each page will have this amount of plugins. So yeah, you do the math, you can multiply this number with the number of pages and you will get the total of the huge amount of apps or plugins that you can use in your WordPress uh, website. So guys, that was the general idea for this video. This is how you can transfer your website on GoDaddy to your uh, WordPress website and start editing it. So thank you guys a lot for watching. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And see you guys in the next tutorial.